Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a kind of a new video on this channel, but I hope you guys all enjoy. We're going to be trying energy drinks. It's going to be a multiple part series, so feel free to comment down below what energy drink I should try next. For this experiment though, for episode number one, I'm going to be trying seven energy drinks over seven days and get back to all of you guys and see which one is best on three areas. That is price, taste, and effectiveness. So, hope you guys all enjoy. Over the course of this series, we're going to try and find out which energy drink is best for all of us gamers out there. So, hope you guys all enjoy and... Let's get started. So I guess this will be drink number one. It's actually a Mountain Dew Kickstart. My sister introduced me to these a long time ago, and they've been uh, pretty stable throughout my life ever since. These are actually one of the cheaper options so far throughout the whole experiment. So let's get this kick started. I'll go now. And for any of you guys who care about my personal life, this actually is the first day in my brand new apartment. I am now home alone. My parents left. They're 1,500 miles away. But here's the apartment. I have yet to get any furniture. All right, so it's been a solid three to four hours. Got some decent work done, and I'm still feeling the kick. So honestly, I'm going to get this done fast, guys. I'm going to give this a solid seven out of 10 on terms of effectiveness. You guys already heard the price and taste and everything else. Now on to day two and compare the rest of them. And then to the end of the video to compare all of them together. But kickstart, off to a great start. Here's the next one, though. All right, so it's day number two here. I'm off to uh, the last lounge over here because I'm gonna need to get some work done. I don't start work until tomorrow, but I have drink number two in my backpack and I'll tell you guys what it is when we finally get there. It's a bit more expensive. I've never had it before. So here we are in the pool area slash lounge area. It's within Wi-Fi and I don't have Wi-Fi currently in my apartment. So it's actually called Red Bull Z or Red Bull Zero. Red Bull Z kind of sounds scary. This is actually going to be double the Mountain Dew Kickstart yesterday. going to cost me at least $2.50. It has a bit more caffeine, so we're going to see how it tastes and how it kicks in. Uh, but time to get some work done and we'll see how effective Red Bull Z really is. So I've been back at the apartment for a while now. Ever since the pool, I actually made a video that is going up over there on the computer station as well as I'm growing up some lunch over here. But I have to say, in terms of taste, definitely a little bit worse than Kickstarter. I know a lot of you guys don't really like the Red Bull taste and a lot of people I know don't like the Red Bull taste and somehow Red Bull Zero Sugar tastes the exact same as a regular Red Bull which is it's kind of odd. Red Bull Zero. Zero problems here. I gotta stop. All right, what is up guys? Hope you're all doing well. It might seem like I've already had my caffeine for today, but I have not. I'm just excited to actually have day three's caffeine, and day three is going to be a sketchy one. I say that because I'm gonna go work out, and for the first time in this series so far, I'm gonna actually use one of these pre-workout, uh, these caffeine, caffeinated beverages thingies as a pre-workout. So we're gonna see how this one goes. I'm going to grab a Rockstar, and we'll see how this one tastes compared to the other ones. And after looking at my handy dandy receipt, it does seem Rockstar so far is one of the cheaper options, surprisingly. Now again, all these prices could vary depending on where you guys are around the world. A lot of these drinks are American drinks, and I wanna actually try for episode two in the future. If you guys like this series, I wanna try, stop. I wanna try solely European energy drinks in the future, so I'll have to ship those in here. But anyway, this is actually called Rockstar Recovery. It only cost me $1.25, and for this bang for buck, it's, it's insane. So this definitely has to go into a, a accumulation of the actual overall score. $1.25, by far and away the most caffeine that we've seen for this price so far, 160 milligrams. I've always been surprised how a lot of these caffeinated beverages only have like three or five or 10 grams of sugar and they taste so acidic. Okay guys, I haven't even left my house yet for the gym. I'm actually in my stairwell right now, just getting my shoes on and I can tell you right now, for a matter of fact, I have not felt this way after either of the first two drinks. You can just tell, you know when you get that little buzz in your head going and you just feel like you're the man? That's what I feel right now. So day three is gonna conclude here shortly, but definitely so far in terms of price as well as effectiveness, Rockstar is kicking butt. All right guys and gals, today is a very special day because of course it's day four this video me trying our fourth new energy drink this one's gonna be a monster energy zero ultra it sounds and looks terrifying this is actually a middle price point two dollars what it cost us so I cannot wait to tell you guys how good it actually is but also a special day because today is my first day of full-time work so we're gonna see how effective monster really is and hopefully it can give us some good luck at work I will see you guys there Oh, and by the way, guys, had an awesome day at work. Would definitely recommend this. Going to be a solid eight on effectiveness. And also, I want you guys to see what I've done so far in the refrigerator is actually line up the drinks we've had so far. And by the end of the video, I'll actually line them up in the order I recommend them. But yes, day four is done. Okay, guys, so it is day five of the experiment. Reason why it's so dark right now is because here in uh, Nevada or Las Vegas, you have to put up these little car thingies because otherwise your car boils to death. But anyway, day five of the experiment. I'm just going to, these are going to, okay. It's going to be our first organic one though amp organic energy and I will be sure to let you guys know how this goes I'm very curious what organic energy tastes like watching this back really makes me realize why I have no friends 
So it's late at night here. I know I'm really greasy, guys. I do apologize, and I forgot to bring the can home. I uh, threw away the can at work, so I might try and do a co-op mission tomorrow to get that can back. Tomorrow is day six. I do apologize, guys. My entire plan has now been fooled because I threw away the can. I'm an idiot. All right, what is up, guys? Sorry I'm a little out of breath. Here's the gym I use every single morning. I actually forgot my caffeine this morning, so I'm going to show you guys later on what it is. I wanted to give you guys a quick preview of the gym. Yeah, anyway, today we're drinking Spider. And I'm pretty scared about it, but I've been scared so far throughout this whole experiment, so I'll see you guys in the apartment. And this is what I'm talking about. It's called Spider Energy Drink, and it's also called, I guess you could say, The Widowmaker, which is absolutely terrifying. And what's even worse is because I got this for a dollar. I went to the grocery store, got, a, of course, a variety of energy drinks, and this is, in terms of the entire list of seven drinks throughout this first episode, this is by far and away the most bang or the most caffeine for the buck. And when I say buck, I mean it literally. This cost me a dollar for 240 milligrams of caffeine. So that's an absolute deal. But when you call it a Widowmaker, and I just, I don't like spiders, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so I'm pretty sure this challenge is gonna kill me. We are now seven days in. I finally got my last drink here. Just went to the local Walgreens, and just to make sure you guys know this, I don't know why you'd ever care, this is the first official purchase I've made in Las Vegas. My dad was here for the first two days. He bought me groceries. Shout out to you, dad. But here's my first official purchase, and it's the seventh day of the challenge. It's a NOS, and I might actually die because this is the highest sugar, highest carbs, and lowest caffeine combination we've seen so far. This cost me $2 dollars and 59 cents 142 milligrams of caffeine so not too much over 50 grams of sugar over 50 grams of carbs so this is pretty much like a loaded sugary pasta meal update this is gonna be the last update for a while guys uh, actually till tomorrow morning i have finished my final energy drink and i'm gonna wait till tomorrow till my whole system is clear to give you guys the full and entire analysis of what exactly happened but let me show you guys my refrigerator right now and then i'll show you guys what it's gonna be in the morning and if you'll notice we're down to six cans. I told you guys I got rid of the Amp Organic Energy at work on accident, so we're gonna make sure there's a can somewhere in here. But here is the order right now, it's sporadic, but in the morning I'm gonna show you guys the actual order of what's best to what's worst. So, hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see what happens. And boom, just like that we have our order, one through seven. Of course, we're, again, we're missing the Amp Organic Energy, but here is what I would rate these things. Of course, in our three category guys, we had price, we had taste, we had effectiveness. And I want to say quickly as well as I show you guys some stats on screen, hopefully throughout this, the one, number one factor throughout this entire thing was actually price of these cans. Now, Spider was our cheapest and everything else was relatively cheap uh, cheap as well. But Red Bull was actually our, one of our most expensive ones uh, on top of that. So Spider being the $1 was a great effect. And I want to say taste was the least effective because overall, I know I don't really like the Red Bull taste. A lot of uh, generic people say that Red Bull does not taste very good but generally all of these tasted pretty good which is expected because a lot of them have a lot of sugar in them and if they don't have sugar they have some of their artificial flavors in them so they do taste generally good so the two main things that actually came into effect was the price and the effectiveness of that and generally speaking it actually did line up in accordance with the number of milligrams of caffeine in there with spider being one of the more uh, I guess you could say caffeinated beverages of this list but yeah I hope you all enjoyed and hopefully I give you guys some background as to how many energy drinks there really are in the world out there so feel free to do me a favor if you guys enjoyed the series I do want to bring back episode two, but a little bit of a twist. Obviously, there's tons of energy drinks out there. I want to bring back a few American versions that we have not tested in this episode, but I also want to order some European or any other versions out there that are not sold in America. So if you guys can comment down below your favorite energy drink, I know a lot of you guys watch are not from America, so there's a ton of, a ton of energy drinks also out there like NOCO, and we also have, uh, again, things that are not sold here. I know there's one called Burn and other ones as well, so link those down below, and I'm going to try and order some here, and that way episode two, we're going to compare American energy drinks, European energy drinks. We'll bring them all together for episode two. So hope you guys all enjoy which energy drinks are best for gamers. As of right now, Spider, I never heard about them before this episode. A great steal in my opinion. Not sponsored, but I'm going to link down below as well all those energy drinks if you guys want to check them out. I'm not going to link them, but I'm going to actually say exactly what they were so you guys know it's not sponsored. So hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time, and uh, goodbye.